Welcome everybody into this new video. So let's take a look how we can add the Kalev.land into our Discord channel. Uh, so the first thing you want to do guys is to have enabled here the Kalev.land support already opened. And as you can see here is my Discord.com. If you don't have the application already downloaded here into your uh, PC, you can always download it for Windows. In my case, I already have that in here as you can see. So now what I want to do is to uh, signed in so I can continue real quick so in here what I want to do now that I'm inside my desk code I want to create here a server so I'm gonna create just a new one so you can see what we can do here I'm gonna name this tutorial server I want to create it and as you can see here it is the easier moderate slash comments I want to dismiss this I'm gonna to go to got it now that I'm uh, creating here my server here I want to go back into the bot setup of Call of Land support here. So I want to scroll a little bit down and choose the Discord bot walkthrough. Now that I select this article, I want to scroll a little bit down. And as you can see here, it is the uh, instructions that we can use for adding the Call of Land on the server so they can be managed that. So first of all, it says click here to add the Call of Land bot. So I want to click that. Then it says an external application once you access your desk, your desk account. As you can see, my account has been already um, enabled here. So I want to add a server here. Let's say, for example, this is not me. I'm going to add my account real quick. And now I'm going to select the server that we just created, which is the tutorial server here. I'm going to go into continue. I'm going to add this as an administrator. So, so this could be working properly. I want to go into authorize here. And let's check this captcha real quick. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of notifications that uh, has been enabled here. So I want to go into my tutorial server. And as you can see, here is the Call of Land is here. Here is the Call of Land join here, verify your assets. So, so now, guys, what you guys want to do is to go back. I'm going to scroll a little bit down. And as you can see, it needs the Call of Land as administrator for setup here. So after you, we've already done that, we want to scroll a little bit down. So now it says make sure the Call of Land is at the top of the server here. So I want to go here and I'm making sure that Call of Land is here at the top. So if you don't just uh, rack that already up, I'm going to go into edit my channel here. And I want to give the permissions here of administrator. So as you can see here it is. Uh, I can go into the invites and integrations. Everything looks okay. So I want to exit here. I want to go into the other channel and see if this one already has the permission and it's to uh, work properly here. So let's try to enable all these servers here. So this can be working properly. And now what you guys want to do is to head to the Caleb Land web portal here. What I want to do is to open this link in a new tab so we don't mm -hmm. miss uh, the information that's left in here. So as you can see, here's the uh, walk through we need to go into the left part of the server and go into the GGR on the left side So I want to go there. I want to log in with my best code account I, It says authenticate your account via this code. So I'm gonna click in there and it's gonna be sending me to this code so I can authorize the application to access my account and Now that we are in here you want to go into the TGR section and go into the select role now it says if you don't see any roles you want return to this code to create them first so i don't see any role in here so i want to go back into my discord and create a new role in here so first of all you want to go into the tutorial server here i want to go into server settings in here and what i want to look is for the roles section that's right in here now what i want to do is to create a role so let's say, for example, I want to choose uh, maybe colab.land and I want to choose the yellow color, something like that. And as you can see, I want to allow this to mention this role, display the role. And if I go into the permission section, I want to uh, enable all this so this can be working properly here. So this is going to be taking me a few seconds in here. So and after that, I want to save the changes here. I want to advance permissions, go into administrator and enable that. I want to close that. 
I want to go back into Caleb.lat. If you want to reload the page so you can be reloading here the information we just did a few seconds ago, you can do that. Go into the select the role and select the Caleb.lat. Let's go into apply. And as you can see, here's the description. We can choose the game type, the token type, and the address. So let's say, for example, I want to add a um, NFT rare. Choose um, the type. Let's go and select Polygon token type. This is all the information I want to fill from this uh, NFT that I have here into, into my OpenSea account. So I want to copy the token ID. The token type must be ERC20 and the address of the contract is this one. So I'm going to click in that. And I want to copy this into my clipboard and paste it right in here. So you can enter the minimum amount of tokens in here. You can go into save. So as you can see, my TGR has been created successfully. So here it is, the description, the chain token type, the address, my minimum tokens and the token ID. So if I go back and someone wants to uh, buy this uh, NFT or do something uh, specific about an offer and all that, I can go back into my tutorial server and see that is going to be appearing in here. Now at this point, if you haven't had here your MetaMask already added here into your browser or in your phone, in our case we are into our PC, you might want to go into MetaMask.io so you can download the crypto wallet added as an extension. So you want to scroll a little bit down or you want to focus here on where it says download, download MetaMask today and just click on the supported browser that you are using. In my case, I am using Opera, but you can use Brave, Firefox, or Chrome. So after that, it's gonna be sending you into the web store so you can add it as an extension. And after you do that in, into the extension, you can just um, import your wallet real quick, sign in, and now we can go back and continue. So lastly, I just want to connect here my wallet in order to see the changes that we just created a few seconds ago. So. I want to connect here my MetaMask wallet or you can choose the other wallet that you have. In my case, I'm going to choose my MetaMask wallet. So I want to choose MetaMask here. I want to just wait a couple of seconds in here. I want to put in my passcode and I want to authorize here the section request to go into next and connect. So it says connecting, verifying your wallet. And as you can see, now we are in there. So you want to reload the page if you want to. I want to choose here my wallet, verify. And just please check the Caleb Land join channel in Twitter for your role status in here. So I want to go back into my Discord. And as you can see, it says role granted by the bot. You have been granted the following roles, Caleb.land. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard, guys. It's really easy uh, to set up here the Caleb Land into your new server here. So now, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys, if you want to see more about the Discord application and our call it land. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time.